Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery here in our shooting center today, excuse me, on the Academy range, and I'm here with Paul Vicunas. Paul is from Camex Crossbows. Paul, you got a cool new crossbow here to tell us about what are we looking at. So this is a, our first introduction and our first entry into the market space for the outdoor group. Camex is one of the sister companies of nine great brands out of Rochester, New York, and Clay City, Kentucky. And we got into the crossbow category recognizing that there's a whole user base out there that wasn't experiencing a lot of the outdoor group products. We weren't having a conversation with the crossbow user. So enter Camex crossbows. And when we have a platform like this, we actually have the slogan that we're built like no other. On two platforms, that's important to us. One, on the manufacturing sector, we're the only crossbow manufacturer that's ISO 9001 certified. World-class standard and quality, and we benefit from all the resources of the outdoor group and brands like Elite, Scott, CBE, Slick Trick, Lynch Mob, Duel, et cetera, and I could go on and on. But in terms of building the crossbow to be built like no other, we first had to understand the hunter's experience. How is he gonna use this crossbow, and is this crossbow gonna hunt for the rest of their life? And yes, it does. And to build that, we start out with features that are so robust that we cannot break this crossbow. We've been tossing this crossbow, we've been abusing this crossbow, and doing demonstrations since August. This exact same crossbow here, that's actually our sales of Greg Petersheim, who manages uh, mm -hmm. Pennsylvania for us, was kind of to give us a sample today, just to walk through the bow and show the, the watchers and every, all the, the people here at Lancaster what makes this bow so, so special. So if we all understand that the crossbow user is kind of gun-centric, they generally, they come from the gun market and they want to experience archery via the crossbow. Right. They understand one inch accuracy at 100 yards. We have to give them that same kind of accuracy at 20 at bow hunting ranges. They also understand that if, they, if their, their gun falls on the ground, the hunt's not over. They can pick it up and keep hunting with it. And guys are using guns that are 20 and 50 years old and they're still hunting today. This crossbow promises to do that as well. So we start out with the platform of the trigger, the sight bridge, and the scope. That's the engine block of our crossbow. So it starts out right here with the monoblock sight bridge. That's a one-piece sight bridge, much like a one-piece receiver on a rifle or a shotgun. Being that it's one piece, it'll never flex, it'll never bend, and it can't vibrate loose because there's no parts holding it together. It's right. solid one piece. The trigger is special in itself as well because one, it's ambidextrous. Mm -hmm. okay? Number two, it has to cock in the fire position or the safe position and always return and engage to the safe position when you do that. Doesn't matter what your starting point is, right. it always has to come to safe. Has to be solid steel construction, no plastic parts in there whatsoever to wear. But then the arrow retention system okay, is also special. It's called the PAR, Pivoting Arrow Retention System. And that's this right here. If I fold this down, you can see it right there. Gotcha. Okay, that pivoting arrow retention system also becomes our anti-dry fire. So if I move this back to safe, like so, mm -hmm. you can see now I can't move that to the fire position because there's no arrow engaging in there. Right. So it's an intelligent sight bridge and trigger, trigger system all working together. Sure. Okay. Above that, we use steel rings. Mm -hmm. We use steel rings because we can get a lot of pressure on that scope so that over the course of this crossbow's lifetime, even if it doesn't take a bump or a knock, it's not going to migrate and move so that you're going to be accurate all the time. Now, should this crossbow take a knock or a bump, the steel scope ring and scope is going to stay exactly where it is and your hunt's not over. Wouldn't right. it be a shame to just have a, a, a light bump mm -hmm. and your, your optics are off and you miss your deer? We're not going to put you in that situation. So to be robust, crossbows now, we, send, we see manufacturers try and get their crossbows light. That's a desirable feature. Rather than engineer the crossbow to be light with smaller and, and better made components, we see a lot of choices being made to go to ABS plastic, lighter. We yep. see a lot of choices being made to go to hollow, hollow components. We don't do that either. 20% glass-filled polypropylene stock, and it's solid all the way through. Cuts down on noise, cuts down on vibration, yeah. but also it's super, super strong. Like in, in fact, we can drop this crossbow, and that stock's not going to break. Had we got a cool been, test to yeah. show that a little bit later. Had that been a hollow stock, okay, very likely the crossbow would have broken. Yeah. Okay. So now we move to the front, and we talk about the aiming experience. The aiming experience, typically a lot of crossbows are front-heavy. Okay, because there's a lot of material up here yeah. to hold the front end. Well, we engineered this crossbow right here. I took that riser off. It's so small it would fit in my shirt pocket, and yeah. that gets the weight off the front of the bow. The benefit of that, PJ, is that when I aim the crossbow, okay, and I'm aiming mm -hmm. the crossbow here, yep. okay, I'm not feeling that weight forward effect. Yeah. In fact, I can aim this crossbow and drop this hand, and the crossbow pretty much sits right, right flat in my hand. That means that this hand, its job is to do one thing, squeeze the trigger and work the shot and not fight the crossbow yeah, because right. of all that weight forward effect. Sure. Next what we do is right here is that we cap the limb tip. We don't drill through the limb. 
Okay? We pull off the full face of the limb and we inboard the cams so that if this actually hits something, the cam doesn't take the knock and neither does the string. Right. So giving us the most robust platform uh, of a three-layer laminated limb, okay, a limb tip called the ballistic limb tip, that is the strongest system that we can develop. Married to that is winner's choice strings. So for all the reasons our sister company's got great success, some of the world's greatest athletes in, in the archery unit use winner's choice. Sure. They win gold medals and, and, and championships all over the world. That same no peep rotation, that free stretch, you know, exacting tolerances of winner's choice, we benefit from that sister relationship. That also goes on a Camex crossbow because if your strings stretch on a crossbow, your accuracy changes. Yeah. So in our pursuit of hyper accuracy, all of these things have to combine to be a super robust platform. Sure. Okay, so let's talk about the real world experience. If we're solving problems for the hunter, this might happen. You may have a crossbow that you lean up against your truck, you mm -hmm. lean up against a fence post or whatever, and it falls. Not really a tough demonstration. Okay. Right. That's going to happen. And a lot of crossbows might survive that unless you have a hollow stock. Sure. Now, you would also agree with me, PJ, that this concrete floor is harder than the forest floor. Yep. And maybe somebody would not hunt 30 feet out of the air. Okay. Right. Well, if you're hunting on a concrete floor and you are 30 feet out of the air, and for some happenstance, your crossbow does fall off your lap, fall off the hook, and it falls to the forest floor. What's going to happen to your crossbow? Would you expect the limbs to survive? Nope. If you don't have a stirrup <laughs> and that crossbow falls... Okay, and it hits right on the limb with limb bolts. Would you expect that to be accurate? Would you trust it? How about no. your scope move? Right. We don't want to put our customer in a position where their hunt is over because of an accident that may not have been their fault. So, sure. if you don't mind, okay, <laughs> this crossbow, this could happen, right? And it lands on the scope. Uh -huh. That is going to happen. So, as we build our platform out, and I say, I want to give our customers a lifetime warranty on the, on the crossbow mm -hmm. and on the scope. It has to take extreme abuse because really once we put the crossbow in the hands of, of our user base, we have such a high degree of care that that crossbow left our factory in perfect condition. We don't know how it's actually going to get used and accidents do happen. Sure. So to show you just how robust this platform is, I'd like to go and recover that crossbow. Sure thing. Let's just go get it. For a second here. And then I'll, I'll show you, you know, when a crossbow is built like no other and it has all of those thoughts put into it from a crossbow engineer's perspective, yeah. having a conversation with a crossbow user's. Uh, experience, I think we build a pretty cool product. Okay, and and you, as you said, that crossbow has been tossed like that since August. <laughs> since August, right? So you can see right now. I'm going to take the crossbow, and you can cock this crossbow by hand. Okay, and I'll show you how right. accurate it is even cocking the crossbow mm -hmm. by hand. It was that easy. Yeah. You can also use a rope cocker, which we also have sure. as well. So if you just pardon me for a second for turning my back to our guests on Facebook. <laughs> Here's the Mind you, we're shooting freehand. It's not yeah. benched, okay? You see the PAR system is engaged. Safety. That's an X. That's incredible. And that's not a bullseye. <laughs> that's an X. That's an X. Okay? X. <laughs> that's hyper-accurate delivery after a crossbow took that kind of punishment. Yeah. Right? So here's another real-world experience. If I take a crossbow, and it comes included with the idler roller rope cocker system. Yep. Okay. I can put this on the string like so. I collapse the thumb savers and I cock the crossbow. So in a real world condition, right, here's an arrow and I'm hunting all day. And I promise this will never happen to a Camex customer. That when I push, when I point this crossbow down at a deer, the arrow's never gonna slide forward. Right. Retention springs and lately brushes and bristles have become popular. Yep. That brush or brish, bristle wears, okay? Mm -hmm. Then I've lost accuracy, I've lost consistency, and the worst thing that could happen is that the arrow would migrate forward. Right. So how about this? How about this? And that arrow is still retained on the crossbow. That's incredible. We're never going to miss a deer because <laughs> your retention system failed. Sure. But again, let's telegraph ourselves out to the end of the day. Yep. At the end of the day, I have a cocked crossbow. I didn't shoot a deer today. Remove the arrow, it safely goes back in the quiver. And I can either shoot the crossbow, whoops, shoot the crossbow into the ground, an arrow into the ground, into a target. But if I'm in rocky condition, I get back to my truck and it's pavement, I don't have that opportunity. Yeah. You can override our system with a compound crossbow design. Mm -hmm. That's unique. Okay. Override the PAR system, and I can cock the crossbow uncock the crossbow with one hand. Nice. It's that easy. Super simple, perfectly safe.
Now, something else that you might be aware of is that the quiver system, if we spent such a great deal of time making sure the crossbow balances, why would I take a quiver and stick it way up front like this, parallel with the string, I have all this weight right. going forward. That's gonna degrade my accuracy and make the crossbow harder to aim. So with our wishbone quiver system, you notice that there's no bracket on here at all. Right. Every quiver without this system on here has got some kind of adapter kit. Adds noise, adds weight, adds vibration. Our wishbone quiver system right here, it's all integrated into one. So simply just by taking that right here, I can do this with wet hands, a glove, or a mitten on. Yeah. It self-centers. The quiver is now parallel with the stock. Again, because the weight is back here where it's supposed mm -hmm. to be, now I can aim the crossbow and it doesn't dip forward. Now, we talked about being robust. I'm offering a lifetime warranty on the quiver as well. Again, we don't use ABS, okay? We use our own polymer material. And you might want to pan down to the ground. If the <laughs> quiver is attached to the bow or it falls out of your tree as well, that quiver cup with a lot of, lot of, process, or a lot of products is shot. Yeah. How about this right here? If you can see that, boom. I'm not a little fella. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that quiver cup is never ever going to break. Okay. So if I'm going to give you a lifetime warranty, I want it to be on the whole experience. Optics, stock, every machine component, the quiver itself. We just don't give it to you on the strings and on the camel finish because those are kind of wear items. Sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So the crossbow is also adjustable in length of pull. Mm -hmm. Right back here, there is a kit that comes with it. You can get this down from basically 13 to 15 inches. Tall fellow like you might want to be 14 and a half. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to give this to uh, your son or another guest. A little small, you can take this down to 13 inches. Or late season with a puffy jacket. We give you the ability to make this crossbow custom fit you. Then the last thing that we want to talk about okay, is our thumb saver. This is the only auto return finger and thumb safety system on the market. Okay? It folds down out of the way when you cock the crossbow and it mm -hmm. springs back into the safety position or the action position when it's at rest. Nice. The most important feature I can demonstrate, however, is that when I cock the crossbow, okay, and I point it right here, you'll notice that the thumb saver goes behind the trigger to in front of the flight path of the string. What that allows you to do, PJ, is that I don't force you to put your hand in only one position where the safety is. Right. You can put your hand anywhere you find this crossbow comfortable to aim the crossbow. And more importantly, your fingers can't get up above this because I have four points of redundant safety. I have distance between the top of the barrel and the bottom of the stock. Mm -hmm. I have palm swell right here, which actually takes up the wrap of your hand. Sure. A vent to get your fingers underneath. And then the last line of defense, in fact, is the thumb saver system. Nice. That's pretty cool. So from front to back, lifetime warranty, ISO 9000 certification, and a crossbow that's pre-sighted in, nobody builds it better. Yeah. Let's talk about that for a second. So right down here, the out-of-box experience is, we guarantee this crossbow will shoot 330 feet per second or a little bit faster, up to 334, okay? Number two is that once it does that, our technicians fully develop the crossbow, assemble it, build it, if it shoots 330 to 334, it goes to the next stage of the test. And that is the four arrows that come with it in the box. It has to shoot a one inch group or smaller, one inch group or less at 20 yards. Each individual arrow, one, two, three, four arrows in the box, arrow number one, two, three, four, go into that test target. If nice. one arrow is out of that group, the crossbow can't go in the box. Wow. And when it passes that test in our factory, we yeah. know that while it's in our care, this crossbow will work perfectly, it was flawless, and it was sure. hyper accurate. When it's built like no other, Jeff Ridinger, and I love this guy, Jeff Ridinger says, yes, <laughs> I took the time to build this crossbow to your satisfaction. I signed my name to it, Jeff does, and says, I'm putting it in the box, and here's my validation right here, that that crossbow is gonna give you that kind of accuracy. And then the full weight of the outdoor group stands behind it and says, ISO 9001 certification to a world-class standard, this crossbow is built like no other. That's awesome. And we're so happy to bring it here. Yeah. Debut this crossbow here in March at Lancaster Archery. I mean, it's been a great morning so far. We got them here at Lancaster Archery. Cam X crossbow. This is the X330 is the name of the crossbow. Yes, sir. If you got any questions, you can check us out at LancasterArchery.com. Thanks so much.